Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in this series of discussing coding interview questions, lead code questions, in this video we'll discuss one more lead code question that is very famous one and the easy one, right? And that is the two sum problem. So the question given is you are given an array of integers. The name is num and then and an integer target. You have to return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. What you have to do is, examples are given also, I'll show you those examples as well. Now, you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. Each input would have exactly one solution. And you may not use the same element twice. So one element you can use once. You can return the answer in any order. So what you need to do is see this is one example so input is given this num is the array 2 7 11 15 and the target will be given to you that is 9 so now output is 0 1 means indices of this array is 0 1 2 3 index start from 0 so 2 plus 7 is 9 so it will return 0 and 1 these 2 plus 7 2 and 7 these numbers are at the index 0 and 1 so it will return 0 and 1 I hope you got this because num of 0 and nums of 1 is equal to is equal to 9. That's why it is returning this 9. Sorry, these two indices, right? Now, same with second example, you can say, I hope you got this. What you need to do, I'll, I'll discuss the logic as well before writing the actual program. Second input is this 3, 2, 4 and the target is 6. So, 3 plus 2 is 5, not 6, okay. Now, 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, not equal to. Now, 2 plus 4. Yeah, 2 plus 4 is 6. So, it will return index is 0, 1, 2, 1 and 2. 1 and 2. And every input will have exactly one solution. We will assume this thing. So, once you find your solution, just stop. Right? So, how to think? How you can do this thing? See, Generally, if you think, generally, if you are given, don't think about any programming language, we'll discuss the code in Java basically. And if you are not aware about one thing, let me just tell you, my data structure and algorithm with the Java course has already been started, right? And if you enroll now, you will get recording of the previous lectures as well, quiz, assignments, notes, PPTs, we will be discussing some projects. In the coming lecture on Friday, we will discuss one project, we'll make some project, one project that is basic one. Whatever we have learned till now, based on that knowledge, we will make one simple project. Okay, so you can enroll, you can check out the link you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. In this course, I'll cover first Java in detail and then we'll go for DSA. Okay, so the link you will get in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment, you can go and check out. Right, so see how you can solve, how you can think to solve this problem. First, we will see, like, suppose this is the input we are given. So, first we will see, let's take 2. Now, try to add with 7 and check. Is it 9? Yes. If you got at the very first time, just stop. You uh, don't need to check further. You will return only indexes of this 2 and 7. That is 0 and 1. Okay. Now, suppose here, here, sum is not 9. Sum is, suppose, uh, uh, here, 18. Sum is 18. So, what you will check? 2 plus 7, is it 18? No. Then, again, 2 plus 11. Then, 2 plus 15. It's 13 and it's 17. So, you will not get the solution till now. Then, okay, 2 is done. Now, we will take 7. Do you check 7 plus 2? Previous case, no. Because it is already done. 2 plus 7 or 7 plus 2, plus 2 these are same. So, no need to check backward if you are at this element so you will check further like this you will move further only forward only so we will check not this we will check 7 plus 11 and 7 plus 15 but 7 plus 11 this is 18 yes you got it so you no need to check further that's it just stop and that's it so this logic you have to implement so it's i guess very simple one two for loop would be there what we need to do you have to take one variable i and one is j because obviously we 
first we'll take two then we'll add the seven so we need variable to store this data and all in ram right so one is i one is j i would loop through from zero to till here zero to one two three index is three from zero to three right if we have two seven eleven fifteen so one will take i and the j will contain this next element so i will loop through from 0 1 2 3 these are index from 0 to till end mm -hmm. and j will start from i plus 1 from next element till end that's it so one for loop here i would be from 0 to i less than whatever the length of this array and how to find out length just name of the array is we are given nums nums dot length in java and then i plus plus within this one more for loop that is j is equal to i plus one and j is also nums dot length see length would be one two three four length would be how many total elements four but we want to move till three three index so that is why i am writing here less than nums dot length not less than equal to less than four not less than equal to four because we want to move till three only not four right if you do less than equal to then you have to mm. subtract one from the length same j plus plus mm. within this we will write simple if like if i'm writing here if <coughs> at i and j i is zero j is one so how to access these in <coughs> element sorry nums of i plus nums of j sorry j equal to equal to whatever the target you are given target then we can do what see now this do sum this is the method which is returning an array okay so it will return an array and in this array we will have only the indexes of two elements which are uh, giving the sum of this target which are giving the star so we can have an array and there we can store in at zeroth element store i and at one element store j and then simply return array arr that's it it's the simple one the brute force uh, technique okay this is how you write down your program so let's implement it and let's see if it's working or not so let's write down our solution here one for loop let's take int i is equal to zero then i less than till array dot length simply we can find out this with this um, dot length the array of the length sorry the length of the array then i plus plus and one more loop in which we have second pointer that is j is equal to i plus one why we need two variables i hope it's clear to you less than same nums dot not less than equal to it's less than okay remember this thing and why this less than only i have told you now we check if how to access elements name of the array and then index plus nums of j equal to equal to whatever the target given here whatever the target is given equal to equal to this then we store this i and j in an array and we return that array because this method is returning an array so let's just take an array here of int type int let's name of the array take arr that's it and with new and this is how we uh, initialize an array in java the length I'm taking just two because I need only two elements in that because two index only I want. So ARR zero would be I and ARR one would be J. That's it. And at last simply we will return this array because it is returning array. So after this O loop, just return ARR. But here one more thing after finding one solution because 
input would have exactly one solution. So if you get the solution, then just break. No need to check further. Break means out of the loop. Now let's see here. It will return error and that's it. So let's run our code and let's see it's working or not. We will get a compiler error here and what is that? Okay. See, you haven't, <laughs> we are just using this J, but we haven't declared this. Obviously, you have to declare like int i, so int j. If here you are not declaring, so anywhere else, like here you can uh, say int j, something like this. Right, so int j. Now, I guess it will work fine. Let's run this and see what you are getting. Yeah, case 1 accepted, case 2 and case 3. So all the test cases we have passed. So you can now submit from here only. I hope you got this how it's working. So this is our solution. I hope you got this. If you got this, then well and good. And you can leave now. But if you want to dry run this with me, you can just continue watching this video. Okay, so we have this. See, I have taken one array and size is two. So one array here, size is only two. The name is ARR, zero and one. Maybe the address I don't know, but maybe suppose 100 and it's of int, so 104. Next element would be 104 because one element will take four bytes. Now, for loop, so we have declared one i variable having zero. Now, condition C and the condition i should be less than nums dot length. It will give nums dot length. So, nums array of length, suppose you have given the nums array they have given that this was the given example 3 2 4 so nums length is 3 so it will give 3 so i 0 i less than 3 condition true so we will enter here now j now j is another variable it is i plus 1 i 0 j would be 1 right so i is here and j is here now okay this condition is also true we will enter here now num of i num of j num of i is num of 0 num of 0 is nums of 0 is 3 so 3 plus nums of 1 is 2 is equal to is equal to target target is given in this case is 6 is it 6 no condition is not true so we will not enter here the control will not enter here within this if block now control will go to here and j plus plus now j becomes 2 is this condition true? Yes, condition true. Again, enter here. Now, num of i is still 3 plus num of j. j is now 2. So, j is now 2. So, 4. 3 plus 4 is equal to is equal to 6. No, because it is 7. So, again, the condition is not true. So, control will not enter here in this if block and j plus plus. Now, j becomes 3. Is this condition still true? Condition is not true because j uh, j is 3 less than num dot length is also 3 is it less than 3 no condition is not true so out of this for loop means now the time is for i plus plus now i becomes 1 same step would be repeated condition true i less than this yes enter here j becomes i plus 1 now j becomes i is 1 so now j again would be initialized and here j would become at this point of time 2, j is 2. Now again check, num of i, i is 1, so num of 1 is 2. So again in next iteration, 2 plus num of j, j is 2, that is 4, is equal to 6, equal to equal to 6, yes, condition true, enter in this case, arr of 0 is i, i is at this point of time 1, so here 1 would be assigned, j at this point of time 2, so j would be assigned. So the indexes of a and B are assigned to this array. And break. Break means we are still remaining with this loop. Because J is still true, J plus plus, then I is still 1, then I would be 2, then I would be 3. So for 2, same iteration would be continued. But we don't want to continue now. Because the solution would have exactly, uh, this problem would have exactly one solution. This is given. So directly, I want to break from here. I want to go out from the loop. So just break. Right. Now break and return ARR. So ARR it will return 1 and 2 whatever this ARR. 
the array. So output you will get is 1 and 2. You got it? I hope you got this problem solution. Right. So now that's it for this video. Now in the next video, we'll see even more lead code problem. And if you want the, these kind of video helpful, you can just let me know in comment section so that I can continue uploading these kind of videos, lead code questions or any coding question. And if you want me to upload any on any specific question on any specific lead code question, you can just mention that in comment section. Okay. And uh, now that's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.